This review is for the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Indoor Grill. I've had this grill for a little over a year now and I use it several times a week. We use it for frozen foods like fries and chicken nuggets, but also for meats like chicken, steak, pork, and sometimes veggies. First, I want to point out how nice this looks on my countertop. The black and stainless steel look really complements all of my other appliances in my kitchen, and it's just a really clean look. It does take up a bit of real estate on my countertop, but that's okay. I'm going to open it up now and show you the parts. This is the grill grate. It's really heavy. I think it's cast iron, and it has these ridges that make the grill marks on your food, and it's really easy to keep clean. I just put it in the dishwasher when I'm done. And this is the cooking pot. You're supposed to keep this in the appliance at all times, and I think you can use it for cakes, roasts, and casseroles, but I've never used it for that. Then this is the air crisper basket. We use this just as much, if not more, than we use the grill for reheating and cooking fries. If you have cold, fast food fries, just throw them in here for a few minutes on air crisp, and they're just as good as they were when you first ordered them. This is the splatter shield and it protects the heating elements from grease. I just put this in the dishwasher when I'm done and it stays clean. Just pop it right back in here. And then this is the onboard smart thermometer. I like this because the cord winds around the holder like this and stores neatly away. The top is magnetic so the thermometer stays put. And then when you're done, you can just wind the cord back around the uh, device here and then tuck it neatly away. So this model will air crisp, roast, grill, bake, broil, and dehydrate. I've only tried the air crisp and grill, but I'd like to try to dehydrate some chicken for dog treats. Now let's make a recipe from the Foodie Cookbook. Now to grill this pork loin, I'm going to use this Foodie Smart Thermometer. There's a sensor here, and on the tip, you insert it here and push it in all the way so that the entire probe is in the meat. We've been heating up the grill now, and here you can see it's time to add the food. We're going to put the pork loin on the grill. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Then we'll plug in the thermometer right here. And you can set it for preset. I'm going to set it for pork. Or we can set it for manual and use an internal temperature of 165. So now we've got the food on. We're going to close the lid. It warns us when we can flip it. Just look at that. Look at those grill marks. And now it's done. And we're going to take it off the grill and let it rest. After we've let it rest for about 10 minutes, we're going to slice it up just like this. Oh, and look at that crust on the outside of the pork loin. Yum. Now that I'm done, I'm going to take the grill off, let it cool, and then put it in the dishwasher. Cleanup couldn't be easier. And that's the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Indoor Grill. Get it now before the holidays so that you can make meal planning and making so much easier.